So I told you guys last week that I'd tell you about how the uh, improv class went and I'm just, I just got out. I'm just walking away from it. Um, and it was really fun. I have to cross the road. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't usually do things like that, so it was very interesting. Um, but it was, it was good for me to like kind of tap into the, I guess, confidence and also like goofiness that I know is there, but that I don't access on a daily basis. So I really enjoyed myself. Um, it's always good to try new things. That's honestly probably where I'll leave it. I don't think I'll sign up for like real classes and, and do a course or anything like that, but I had a lot of fun. So yeah, that's how it went. Hey vlog, it's Valerie again. Um, it has been an interesting week over here. Right now we're filming a different wall in my office. Um, and the saying behind me, sorry there's glare and also my head's gonna be in the way, um, but it says she was just another girl playing hopscotch with the stars by Atticus. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you guys because my head's gonna be covering it up and I would want to know what was the saying. So anyway, uh, let's get on to the vlog. So on Monday, I finished the baby elephant lovey. Um, so one thing that's a little frustrating, I ran out of the right type of yarn in the last three rows of the last arm. I was like, are you kidding me? But I made it work. So a little update on blanket size. Um, when I asked you guys last week, it seemed like most people were saying like, yeah, it makes sense to um, do a bigger size blanket since I do bigger um, amigurumi. And I, I agree. I think that, I mean, it looks decent in like my screen right here, but in person, the blanket for this one feels maybe just a little small and it's a 20 inch by 20 inch. So I think 24 by 24 is going to be more of the, the length I want to go and size for the lovey. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it, but I think I'm gonna have to make another one because when I was doing the assembly with the doll joint, I mean, it worked, but it was, let's see, you can see the doll joint is just right here. It worked, but the, it was difficult. I, I would say that if I were trying to write up instructions for this is how you're going to do it, this is how you're gonna follow the pattern, I think I would have a lot of people coming back and saying, like I followed your instructions and it didn't work or I tried and it was needlessly difficult. So I'm going to try again. So the thing is with the, the baby elephant pattern, you start from the top, you work to the bottom. And so when you're going to be gathering the stitches at the bottom of the head, what I did was um, a doll joint has three parts. It has this part, this, this is the part that keeps it um, secured on, and then it has a washer um, which lets it move. I'm not probably going to use the washers because I don't need it to move. I'm just using these as securing. And so what I was doing was you'd put the part that secures it in like kind of that last row of the head, and then when you gather the stitches around and cinch it up, you leave just the tiniest little um, amount of space so that you can put this side of the doll joint up through the blanket, uh, you know, through that last row of the head and then, you know, tighten it on. Oops, I dropped it. You know, so then you can sign sandwich those together and, and keep the entire, um, <clears throat> you know, the lovey together. So the problem with that was with this being in the very last row of the head, it, was it was hard to keep it where it needed to be, you know, so that when I was done adding the arms, I could sandwich it all together. I was, I mean, I had this part and I was just like searching for, for the, the safety end, like, and it was 
impossible to find. Well, not impossible because I did find it. Um, and I also, I think I put it in there backwards at first. And so I had to like flip it around even though it was all tied off and anything. It was, it was like I said, needlessly difficult. So I think what I'm going to propose to do next time um, when I make a second one is to just change the sequence of things. So instead of making the head and attaching the arms and then putting the blanket on, I think what I'd do is when you're finishing the head, you attach the blanket right then so that you're, you're not losing the, the safety end and, and you get it all pieced together right then. Um, also, I, f I feel like uh, these are this the ones that I got were um, 20 millimeter. I think they might just be a little too small. Um, like I, I have not had any problems with this one yet. I mean, it's only been a week and it hasn't been like aggressively played with. Um, but I just, I, I don't feel the most confident, I would say, about this connection. So I want it to be stronger. So I'm gonna go try 35 millimeter um, for the next one. And then I think for the rest of my, my um, lovey patterns, I'm probably going to start at the bottom of the head and work up. That way I have that adjustable loop um, or the magic ring that I can, can work with and um, I could even attach like the blanket to the head before the head is finished. And that way I know it's all secure and it's not gonna go anywhere and there's not gonna be that like needless searching for you know this, the safety end and anyway. I hope that made sense. That was kind of a lot of rambling. Um, but that's part of the design process is me just trying to figure out how all of the pieces are gonna work together. So that is that. And one thing that is different um, on the lovey pattern versus the just the normal baby elephant pattern is I had to change the nose because on the, the baby elephant pattern, the shape of the nose comes from attaching the top of the nose to kind of the middle of the nose and then attaching this bottom part here to the stomach. So you can hold it like this because it's attached. Um, with the lovey, there was nowhere to attach this because it doesn't have a body, there's just a blanket. And so um, to, to get this shape of the nose, I did the same thing with the bottom where I turned it up and I attached it to kind of the middle of the nose. But then on the last four, yeah, about the last four rows, I, um, I did like I did with the flamingo neck and I did the uh, half double crochets on one side and then the slip stitches here on the inside so that you get the height difference in the rows and it naturally curves. So. That was really the only difference on that one. So I'm, I am happy with how it turned out. I think it's pretty cute. Um, I'm just finessing the attaching um, before I move forward with it. So that's where that is. Um, another thing I did this week was, and I rarely, rarely do this, um, but I made a hat. My first pom-pom ever, actually. It was a lot of fun. Um, so this hat and also what I did on Thursday um, go together. So on Thursday, I interviewed Billy from the Crafty Floridian for um, my next podcast. And she is doing a hat drive um, by YouTubers, essentially, um, and, and the, the crochet community via YouTube, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I will put a link in the description. Um, and so I, I really wanted to get her um, on the podcast and interview her so that I could help her kind of get this, the word out for doing this hat drive um, that goes, um, it's all of February. So I'm going to, fingers crossed, get the podcast up Monday um, so you guys can learn more about her and um, also learn about why she wants to do a hat drive, making hats for kids. Um, so that's that. Um, honestly, like this hat worked up really fast. I completely freehanded it. I mean, I checked it every once in a while on my daughter's head to make sure like this is a good enough size. Um, but it took me like 
probably an hour just to whip up. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, so that is that. Then the last thing, honestly, I haven't I haven't had a lot of time to crochet this week. And partly why we're um, in a different part of my office is because I'm rearranging um, my shelf with all of my animals was just over full. And I need a shelf because um, my lovely two-year-old um, will take them if they're not up high and get them just filthy. Um, if you see the panda bear, the big panda bear, like he needs a wash and I don't, I don't even know how to clean him. I mean, I know with brunette yarn, you can put them in the washer, um, but with all of that stuffing, I don't know if he'd ever come dry or if his shape would ever really be the same again. So I'm putting that one off. Anyway, so I need a new shelf. So I'm, I'm hoping today I'm gonna be able to do, put up some floating shelves um, in a corner and then that will be kind of my vlogging area. Um, there's a lot to do today, so we'll see if it gets done. Fingers crossed, I'll at least get it done for our next vlog and I can show you guys and be like, look, here's my beautiful thing. So um, the last thing I did get done, I started um, testing testing the pattern, my own pattern, um, and it looks, it looks really funny right now. It looks really funny right now. But um, for the large rabbit, so I made, I made the rabbit as a custom order for a friend last year. I think like last March or something is when I started doing it. Um, and back then I was using a, like a hook sizes that were like four times larger than what I'm using now. And I was crocheting a different way with the way I held it in my hands. Um, and so I, I, I know it's going to be different, you know, this, this rabbit versus the first rabbit that I made. And I have been making a couple of adjustments because I know how to write patterns better now than I did a year ago. Um, so so I've been kind of making adjustments there, but I'm, I'm gonna have to do probably four more rows before I can stuff it and see how it looks when it's stuffed. Because at the moment it looks, I don't know, it just looks weird. Um, but it might completely change when it stuffs. You know, it, it, might, it might be exactly what I want. Um, but if not, I'm probably going to just take it out and frog the whole thing and start again. Because, I mean, I, I want to have a pattern that I'm happy with. And if I'm not happy, I'm just gonna start over. So, so that's kind of where that is. Um, my goals for this week are uh, to, to get the elephant lovey all figured out in the pattern typed up so that I can get it off to testers so I can get that pattern, you know, out and ready for the world. Um, and I mean, my really ambitious side wants to also get the teddy bear and the sheep loveys done as well. Um, we're just gonna have to see how the week goes though. Cause sometimes they get crazy busy and you're just like, ah, not as much time as I thought. Anyway. I'm definitely getting to the part where I'm just rambling. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I will talk to you next week. Um, yeah, and in the meantime, take care. Bye.